they need to know about when they talk with various people about going through that process? Well, it may take you three or four agents, you know, to find to find a good agent that's going to give you a bond, get, be able to get you a bond. But it's, it's an easy deal for those who know. I mean, it's a one-page application to be uh, to get approval for a bond up to. $350,000. I mean, if you've got good credit, you own your own home, uh, you pay your bills on time, more than likely you'll be approved. Now, that's a start. Now, if you, if you need something bigger than that, what you need as an agent, I do this sometimes as well. For example, <clears throat> let's say that your contractor says, you know, I want you to do this $500,000 job. And, 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 I, and I, if I was your broker, I would say, well, look, we can get you a 350K bond, but we can't get 500K because you didn't pay your cell phone bill or whatever. So you say, okay, well, what am I going to do? And I would say, let me talk to your contractor. And I would say, Mr. Contractor, now this is a trick of the trade. I, I don't want to tell you too many of these. I'd say break the contract into two. Yeah, and then roll the bond on. Well, you know, you get two bonds. You just have to know where you want to go. And if you're serious about being a contractor, you should go out and, and become bonded. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, you need a lot of knowledge. It's not just, you know, oh, they got lucky or they, they know somebody. They, they've got good people working for them. That's what America has turned into. And in the last three years, when the financial crisis came, it's even worse. Another tip for you. I've been in the insurance business, let's say, 35 years. When I first got into business 35 years ago, if you wanted a bond, you had to submit a financial statement with a CPA. And if you didn't have a CPA due to your finances, the answer was no. And, and, and if you sent it in again, the answer was hell no, okay? So you didn't get a bond. And then, let's just say 20 years ago, I don't know how it came about, but people are doing financial statements on the computer and on, on and on, and so that was accepted. Now, three years ago, when was it, 2008, four years ago? Yeah. yeah. Okay, with the financial crisis, we're back to 35 years ago. A lot of people don't know that. We have gone back. Now people want to see for CPA, for, they want to check everything. A review, a compiled, and not a... Well, I, I don't... I don't know if you can say that, but you need to have a CPA on your financial statements. Now, it could be quarterly, not, uh, annual, or what have you. But in other words, they're not going to look, look up on favor, look favorably upon anything you give them that's not CPA. You can't just crank stuff out of your computer. Now, I have clients who have done that. But guess what? If you look at their financial statement, you know, they've got half a million, million dollars worth of um, assets, cash in the bank. And so you can't say, I mean, you hear rumors, uh, people say, well, you know, so-and-so did this and they didn't have to do all this and all that. I mean, well, maybe you don't know, but they have a million dollars in the bank. That makes all the difference in the world, okay? And, and the other problem that I find with small businesses is, small contractors, and I've worked with them for 35 years, is that <clears throat> I hear people say, I want to get my foot in the door. That's fine. I don't want to get my foot in the door. Uh, I get paid just like the other people downtown. People don't think of this, but when you're, try, when you're trying to get a bond, one of the things the bonding company is going to look at, are they making any money? Are you making any money? If not, why not? That's the name of the game is making money. Where does my information come from? It comes from the Security and Fidelity Association of America. Now, who are they? They've been around 100 years. They own the, uh, they own the uh, insurance companies. And so when somebody else... Is there like AIG and all those guys? Pardon? Is that AIG and you know, some of the larger uh, insurance, uh, insurance carriers? Yeah. Companies? yeah. Well, everybody knows AIG. They, they got the $180 billion bailout from the government. Now, the government has made money on them. On them. Those guys, they know what they're doing. They know how to make money. Okay? But when somebody tells you something, no matter who it is, whether it's me or anybody, ask them, how do, you, how do you know? Okay, how do I know? That's how I know. And look at all the documents that I hand out. Surety Information Officers. 
If these people don't know, nobody knows. 